The NBA prospects are ready for the NBA draft, and so are we. Here's our preview. What's been the best part of being a guy that's about to realize his NBA dream? Um, that, that's, that's it. That is about to become a reality for me. And, uh, it was a very exciting moment for me. Watching it on TV is another thing, but actually, you know, being a part of it is just crazy. Having all you guys is just, this is a big honor. I got to keep, keep reminding myself, like, my friends text me, like, you signed for tomorrow? I'm like, oh, yeah, draft tomorrow. Like, oh, crap. Like, so it's really cool, though. It's, I mean, it's been fun, and I'm just excited to see where I'm going to go tomorrow. A lot of people get tired of going to all these different things, you know, meeting all these people. But for me, it's just been, I've just been happy to be here, um, and it's all been exciting for me. Just the ability, the opportunity to, to come out and, and play in the NBA and fulfill my dream uh, as a kid. It mean the world to me. Is it hard to believe you're that much closer now to your NBA dream? I mean, 24 hours away. It's not, just simply because of how much work that I put into this. Like, I'm talking like endless hours of just perfecting things. Like as, as much of a, of a dream this was, like it didn't happen overnight. I really worked my butt off of this. If you were an NBA franchise, why should they take you? I feel like I'm different than anybody in this class. In today's modern game, I feel like um, the way I play fits that modern game. Why do you think you're ready for the NBA now? My physicality, um, my mentality, and um, just how I approach every day. And I just want to build confidence in all the other guys on the court, and I'm not looking for anything myself. It's going to be a great moment for myself, uh, but uh, it's going to be so many emotions just to hear my name called, to walk up on stage with my mom and dad and be able to shake the community hand. That's kind of what I've been dreaming of my whole life. Rena, I broke out my NBA draft best threads on this Friday morning. The prospects met with the media on Wednesday morning, and of course our Bronx Net cameras turned to the draft itself last night at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. The top picks were really no surprise except for a trade between Dallas and Atlanta, which sent guard Trey Young to the team that owned the third pick. He's a Hawk now. We caught up with the first two picks in the draft and the newest Nick player who was taken at number nine. Here's more. I just want to come in and be the best thing that I can be, especially, you know, be the best two-way man coming in. And, you know, not only, I know, the game is changing a lot, but I just want to stick to those who big men. Um, being down long, really trying to be dominant. So there's a lot of things that I, that I think I should get better at. Um, so um, it's just about me studying myself, studying other players, just studying basketball in general, and you know, just getting better at you know, each thing that I, that I you know, put a finger on and choose to get better at. So it's a lot of things that I'm working on to, to help me um, play at this level. I think it's going to be a great opportunity to come here and play along, alongside Porzingis, Hardaway, and some of the other great players on the team. Uh, I think I knew head coach at Fitzdale. He's a player's coach, and I think that me and him are really going to get along. He's going to teach me, teach me so much. Uh, Porzingis is going to teach me a lot, and I think they're going to get me a lot better. I'll give you my take on Kentucky's Kevin Knox in the C-list. The Nets took Croatia's John Musa with the 29th pick in the first round. Both the Knicks and the Nets will introduce their first and second rounders today at their respective training centers. The Orange and Blue may have also nabbed the steal in the second round. Mitchell Robinson is perhaps the most enigmatic prospect in the 2018 NBA draft. A gifted athlete with great size, length, and explosiveness. Robinson was widely considered one of the top 10 prospects in the high school class of 2017 after performing well at the Jordan Brand Classic and McDonald's All-American Games. Robinson committed to Western Kentucky late in the recruiting cycle, but never suited up for the Hilltoppers. He opted to stay in the United States to prepare for the NBA draft in lieu of heading overseas. Robinson's last year of experience was effectively his senior season in high school, but he's talented. On the baseball diamond, the red-hot Houston Astros and the New York Yankees have reached 50 wins. The pinstripers broke out the brooms Thursday afternoon at the big ballpark in the Bronx. Aaron Judge and Miguel and Duhar hit two-run homers off James Paxton in the first inning that sent the Yankees over the Seattle Mariners 4-3 for a three-game sweep. And they did it against a formidable team, albeit one that has been struggling of late. Seattle, which was 20 games over 500 coming into the Bronx this week, has lost a season-high four straight. New York launched eight homers in the sweep and tops baseball with 122 
long balls. The Bronx Bombers are in Tampa, th Tampa this weekend. It's been some week for the Yanks. John Carlos Stanton had a walk-off home run to kickstart the series, his first real big-time moment this season in pinstripes. And, of course, Sunday was Alzheimer's Day, one of the best days of the year for Yankee fans. We caught up with some of the legends. Check this out. It's special. It's so special for me. I was able to celebrate my birthday the other day. It's just been a really good weekend for us. I, I, you know, my grandbaby was able to come up and travel up here. All, all the, the, it was the first time in the last few years that I've been invited to Old Timers Day where I wasn't coaching. I, you know, I coach high school baseball. I coach my son's uh, team. And so everybody was like, you got to go. We got to go to New York. We got to go to New York. You don't have nothing going on. So it, it's, it's just turned out to be a wonderful, special time for us. And, and, and New York's always a special place. The first Old Timers Day, uh, Joe DiMaggio took my locker. He wore my shoes. Uh, he wore all my stuff. I still got it. And uh, I, I was in awe. And Mickey Mantle was my favorite player, of course. And to be able to uh, see him not play when he did, but when I was a young kid and coming up through the Yankee organization, he was the best. Uh, it's great. I mean, the Yankees are the only team that can do this. Um, and they're still pulling out star-studded people, like guys that I respected playing against for so many years, and uh, some guys I got to play with. And like, it's great seeing Giambi and Swisher here. I don't know when the last time I actually saw them. It had to be like four years ago, and but um, it's just great catching up. It's unbelievable, man. I mean, like, well, it makes you feel good to think people come to see you, but I just think in general, man, just to be able to be part of this crop of guys, I mean, like, you know, Big G, you know, Johnny Damon, Andy Pettit, some of my ex-teammates, you know, the Yankee greats, you know, Ron Guidry, Lee Mazzilli, you know, Don Larson. Like, there's just so many amazing men that are here, and it's just an honor to be able to be here and to put the uniform on one more time. Nick Swisher still got it. Meanwhile, across town, the Mets are in fourth place in the National League East. The Colorado Rockies posted a 6-4 victory over the Mets on Thursday. The Mets begin a homestand this weekend with the L.A. Dodgers. Time for some quick hitters from around the world of sports. Barry Trotz made headlines when he decided to walk away from the Washington Capitals within weeks of leading the franchise to the Stanley Cup. Not being able to come to an agreement with the Caps opened the door for the Islanders. D.C.'s loss, New York's gain. Great move by the Isles. He was introduced as their new head coach on Thursday. The World Cup rolls on. Today's action includes Nigeria and Iceland this morning and Serbia and Switzerland this afternoon. The early going has featured plenty of upsets. It will be interesting to see how things unfold from here. From the MLS, the Red Bulls will face FC Dallas Saturday. New York City FC will face Toronto on Sunday. In the WNBA, the New York Liberty are in Las Vegas. They will take on the Aces tonight before traveling to L.A. Sunday to face the Sparks. In motor racing, F1 great Fernando Alonso is one step closer to the Triple Crown. He's won Monaco. Now he can add Le Mans. He'll just need to score an Indy 500 to pull the trifecta. Easier said than done, Alonzo feels he is leading a revolution in motorsport. Those are the headlines. We have to see this for a closer look at the Knicks' first round pick. Well, Orange and Blue fans, I know the Knicks needed a three, just like the Nets probably needed a stretch four. Both teams got what they were looking for in the first round, but considering how much help both teams need, I was certainly hoping for the best players available. I'm not 100% sure Knox was the best player available at that spot for the Knicks, but for the first time, the Knicks took a safer bet. Knicks is an intriguing young wing prospect with great size who can score in a variety of ways thanks to his fluidity in the open floor and his ability to make jump shots and multiple actions. Early Bloomer, who was a member of the USA basketball team that won a gold medal at the 2015 FIBA America's Under-16 Championship. Knox had a fine freshman season at Kentucky, providing some of the top individual scoring performances of the season for John Calipari's Wildcats. He averaged 15.6 points and 5.4 rebounds per game. He can be streaky shooting the ball sometimes, but he earned SEC Freshman of the Year honors while helping the Wildcats to an Elite Eight appearance. Overall, I'll give the the pick a B plus with a chance for it to be much more for the Knicks. It may not have been the sexy pick, but Knox could legitimately become a star in this league. What do you think of the Knicks and Nets first rounders? Question mark. Get in on the conversation on social media. Let us know. That's your sports. I'm Bobby C.